What, 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 what? I'm telling you, the folks are not playing today. What's going on? It's Glendon. And today we're going to be talking about zero to one million dollars. How to have that good life, how to enjoy yourself and where it all started. First thing, this is a community supported project. There are no ads, so we need that super chat action going on. And if you catch the replay, you can also go below, hit the super chat, let's say super chat that and make your donation by PayPal to support the community. So I appreciate you guys. All right, so this whole show is gonna be about the new course, zero to $1 million. The link is below early bird special 300 you get to use the coupon so you can get it for 150 uh, that's going to be in effect until i get the bones of the stuff all situated now one of the things that we need to have a greater understanding on is you must stop looking for simple easy solutions to very complex problems if you're at the age of 24 to 35, you don't have any money, you don't have a lot of money, or every few months you like tweaking out, you're not going to change that process overnight. So if you're looking for some very quick solutions because your life is on fire, everything is jacked up, you can leave this video. I don't have anything for you. But if you're looking to have a much better life this time next year. Some of you will get it sooner, then stay tuned. All right, so let's get into this. All right, and I'm gonna read some to you. Yes, I'm gonna read a little something to you. Let's see, go here and we will get to it. And I'm going to tell you some of the stuff that's going to make some of y'all like super happy. Thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. All right. So we're going to go to. Whoa. I didn't want to pre vipe. Uh huh. I think uh, here we should be. This is. Oh, you know what? I know where I need to be. Hold on a second. No, <laughs> they've changed it up. I don't know what I don't know what's going on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, we'll just get into it, and we will go from here. Zero to one million dollars is a transform transformative course. If you're reading this, you're either broke or close to broke. What is broke? Broke means not having the life you want. Broke means always being worried about money broke means you're in the you're the are the same as 75 percent of americans that shocking number reveals how incompetent our education system is as well as the stunning lack of motivation and ambition in the average person many americans are trapped in a financial week-to-week -week crisis which the necessities of life consume their meager earnings Nothing is left. It's a wicked cycle of scarcity and desperation. And being desperate is ass out and dangerous. However, being broke is not just about the lack of money. Being broke is in your head. What if I told you there was a way to break that cycle? What if I showed you the path to having the life you want is as simple as changing the way you think? Yes, it sounds simple, but the execution of the process is fucking hard. The average person is not taught to think. Therefore, the ability to think must be established before you can begin changing your life. This is not an overnight project. It takes time and determination. You're making a commitment to a lifetime of personal development leading to financial success. In this course, you will learn to think analytically, proactively, and decisively. The first step to establish a strong mindset that means dealing with your attitude Many of you have some very shitty beliefs that are self-critical and self-destructive. These damaging perspectives restrict your potential for success and wipe out any possibility for traction and momentum. 
So do you have a hulking monkey on your back? Do you feel crushed beyond repair? Are you still dwelling on old injustices, painful memories, and undeserved punishments? Yes, it was unfair. Yes, it was wrong. But holding on to the past trauma will sabotage your present and your future. Eject it from your thoughts, forgive, and move on. Maybe you don't feel like you deserve to be successful. Maybe you don't believe you're capable of being successful. You blame your lack of education. You point to your inability to access resources. You're convinced that your current situation in life is inescapable. If you had a dollar for all of your self-limiting beliefs and excuses, you would be rich. You are programmed for failure with a defeatist mindset. Your dreams, hopes, and ambitions are doomed from inception. What if I informed you that none of this has any bearing on your future? You're the reason that you don't have the life you want. Note that I not say, use the word deserve. It is not about what you deserve. It's about what you build. And building is dependent on what you think about yourself. This is all that matters in the first step of your zero to one million dollar journey. Not long ago, I did an interview with Keter. During this interview, he said something that was extremely important. Stop the excuses. Too many of my black brothers cling to the excuse of being black as a justification for the lack of forward advancement in their lives. That is, if you're black, it is a psychological crush they lean on anytime they want to defend their lack of opportunity and prosperity. That excuse is not going to work in this course. From the moment on, you're going to forget that you're black if you are. No, you will not erase your ethnic identity and cultural pride. Instead, you will identify as a man first, a business owner second, and as a black person third. Your blackness is not going to make you any damn money unless you're a rapper, and the life cycle of a rap artist is literally two to five years. You'll be challenged, harassed, and mocked for excuses. We're in the midst of the biggest wave of free and shared information in history. You have more power in your hand via your cell phone than the NASA computers that launched the Apollo 11 spacecraft to the moon on July 20th, 1969. Going forward, you will operate under the assumption you just have as much chance and opportunity as the white man. Because in 2018, you do. The Hotep Nation is trying to stop you from, so uh, trying to stop you. So stop listening to them. They don't want you to have an open and free mind because it doesn't benefit them. A racial, a racial pimp can't take advantage of a man that is financially well off and independent. The Hoteps cannot indoctrinate a mind that knows better and has tasted the power and freedom that money brings. Remember, the first phase of going from zero to one million is building a new habit of mind. So, we about to raise some cane up in here. We're about to get a little rugged. We're going to start some stuff. Because this course, and let me tell you how it's going to go. I'm going to add a little bit each day. There will be the main groups and there will be action items for you to do each day. Success doesn't take any days off. Why should you? What are you going to take a day off from? Do you take a day off from breathing? Do you take a day off from your heart beating? Do you take a day off from eating? Well, some of us do. Do you take a day off from your hair growing? Do you take a day off from your nails growing? This stuff always is going on. So. Roughly, it's going to take you 15 minutes a day to complete the exercises as we move forward. Just letting you know. Because, once again, I'm still on that recession tip. Uh, the Donald is doing a lot of stuff that's distracting. Because right now, you hear all this stuff. We want to investigate the FBI because they're investigating me, right? But the Supreme Court just handed down a decision where you cannot assemble and form unions. Wait a minute. Look at this over here. And while we do this over here, Russia, Russia, pay for play, money laundering, nepotism, Russia, Russia. So you are you over here looking at this hand. This hand is stabbing your economic future in the back. But, you know, some of you voted for him. And I think, well, I know you're going to live to regret doing so. But anywho. Anyone has any questions about zero to a million dollars? Yes, this is all about this course. If you are interested, this is where you want to be. So I'm going to.
close this. Well, no, I might, I might be back up in there. I don't know because you gotta be careful when you use copyright material because YouTube may like delete the whole soundtrack. So we don't want that. Let me raise up this chat. Cause we, I'm like the moderators be on y'all. Appreciate y'all. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. <laughs> Sharpening my knife, charlatan. Josh Barr reporting to duty. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, all of my moderators. Be real. Big G was right. You have to start an LLC and protect yourself. A friend of mine just got divorced. Judge cleaned him out. Child support, 20 years of... Ah! Half... Ah! Child support... 20 years of alimony, half his pension, and half of his annuity. Woo! Woo! Oh my. Oh! Man. He got raped. Good Lord, be real. Is he, is he still breathing? Good Lord. Can he sit down? Good Lord. Do, do, do. All right. All right. <laughs> the moderators ain't playing. Thank you, Stefan, for the $20 super chat. Go ahead. You, you're free to super chat. Ain't nobody holding you. You can just hit that little dollar sign that's like at the bottom of the chat and uh, throw some money up in the air. All right. <laughs> Better than coffee and Red Bull. Thank you, Be Real. Good Lord, this is getting hot up in here. A person has to go to their foundational seat by their parents or guardians that will that will that cognitive dissonance will seek in and will rebel. Pretty much. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> No, because see, this is the thing. And one of the reasons I have to break it, because a lot of you who've been here for a few years, you know the deal. You know you could be successful. You know white people will buy from you. Asian people will buy from you. Mexicans will buy from you. You know that because you got businesses and you're feeling that. But there's still this self-limiting belief, you know, I'm black and there ain't nobody going to buy nothing from me because I'm black. Bullshit. <laughs> Stop the excuses. All right, let's see what's going on. Ganja, my job is nepotism galore. It's a federal government job. This is what's going to happen. When this recession comes, even the government is going to shed jobs. And this is going to be problematic for that nepotism crew. 89, Dr. Funk, I just saw in the news 15 minutes ago about the Supreme Court deal. Yep. You're not going to be able to form a union. This is part of the reasons that wages have not increased purportedly because we have this raging job market, but people still have two and three jobs. People not feeling real appreciation in their paycheck. It's very interesting. Pamela C. all day long. I know it, Day 9 Dr. Funk. Sense of reality, besides your courses, do you know the, the best books for learning how to build an LLC and different business structures? Excellent question. I knew that was going to be asked, and I have a hell of an answer. There are a lot of books out there, but here's the real deal. Remember when I said that I read 4,000 books in my lifetime, 4,000 plus? You can read the same book that I read. And because you don't have all this knowledge and these data points all up in your mind, you're not going to get the same results that I did. Because there are many of you who are reading these books that I recommend. And I'll continue to recommend some more books. But unless you have the life experience, the data points, and the execution, reading the book, you're going to yield a totally different, totally different set of results. So 
That's what I got for you. Pretty much, Stefan. This guy needs to earn his money under a 10-foot table. See, he's in trouble. Um, what he will have to do, and we'll talk about that after I go through these comments. Charlotte, ain't nobody going to is always said by someone who's never started a tribe. Amen, Charlatan. Amen. <laughs> we have a black princess, so yes, we could do anything. All right. Uh, let's take um, Be Real's friend. What he needs to do now, because essentially they have sunk the legal teeth into him, is he needs to create an LLC. He needs to find some kind of business model that he can create so he can protect whatever money he can earn. Because half his annuity, half his retirement, that's gone. That's law. That, that's it. He, it's, it's, a, it's a done deal. But he's got to create new income, new revenues, and new business that she don't know about. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. I had a similar situation, except I didn't have the half of the uh, pension because I didn't have a pension. And uh, annuity and it's a spousal support, and she didn't get that. But in the alimony, oh, my God. Part of this is to keep prevent him from ever marrying again and producing more offspring. Seriously. That's why part of this onerous judgment, because if, you know, if she can find a job, she should be able to find the job. But once again, the courts treat women like children. Like, oh, let me pat you on the head. Oh, little girl, you can't find a job. Oh, bad man, bad man. We're going to give her, you know what? We're going to give her, your money to her. And if you don't have that money, you're going to jail. Yet she can be completely destitute and no one's talking about putting her in jail for not having money to support those kids. But your black ass or white ass or yellow ass or Mexican ass, whatever color you are, if you don't have that money, we're going to put you in jail, bruh. That's what I'm saying. It's, a, it's rough out there. It's rough out here in these legal streets. So part of the thing is, what we're going to do in this course is work on stuff that mom and dad that shouldn't have. And I know it's going to sound like overly simplistic in the beginning. Then it's going to get very, very rough. But you're going to have to do certain behaviors, exhibit certain behaviors for a prolonged time to regurgitate your upbringing. Many of you, your mom, you know, even those of you who had good mothers and good fathers, they couldn't teach you what they didn't know. And that's like, you know, if your mom and dad loved you, you felt the love and you're close to them to this day. Awesome. They still didn't know a lot about money. That's just the truth of the matter. <laughs> Let's see. Half, Eddie. Half. I know, right? It also means she's never going to marry again if she remain if she marries the alimony goes away. Well, possibly depends on how much the alimony is and depends on what the child Because see. The thing is, even if she remarries again, she's getting his retirement unless he goes to court and challenge it like someone put in there. Yeah, he can go to appeal this. But the fact that they gave her tells me that she doesn't work and they have like three or four kids. You know, you can correct me on that. Be real. I assume it was nasty, but here's the thing. We're going to go on this journey because a lot of people are like, hey, Glennon, what do you do? Uh, Glennon, what is your written goals for the day? You can't do what I am doing unless you have done what I have done. I didn't just drop out the sky with this knowledge, like parachute into the Hustleville and start hustling. No, 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 no. I took a lot of L's. I took a ton of L's, a lot of L's. And I know a lot of you are trying to like to avoid those L's, but it's better to take a little baby L than to take this big L like Be Real's friend just did. That is crippling. Unless he's got some serious hustle juice.
yeah, that was kind of crazy. But I'm not going to be here too long because, uh, you know, just kind of give you a heads up on the schedule. What we're going to be doing is there might be something for Disrupted Mail in the morning, but I'm going to start taking the days to go in and start creating this course and fixing old courses and adding more to the Hustler LLC. So every day for, I don't know, months, I'm going to be creating new training, creating new content, and it's going to be very, very different than what was there before because I'm going to take my time and I'm going to do it right. Because I ain't going to let you savages rush me. Glenn, Glenn, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Er, er, we ain't doing that. Because if you're doing <laughs> the exercises, you're not going to be able to go that fast anyway. And it's designed that way because, like, all right, I lost about 50 pounds. But I didn't lose 50 pounds in six months. I didn't lose 50 pounds in a year. I lost 50 pounds in about two and a half years. And that's the reason I've been able to keep it off because I've been doing it slowly. Now I'm getting get aggressive and my goal is to lose another 15. I read this book that the body holds on. Like say you weigh 250 and you've been 250, 260 for years. Your body is desperately trying to hold on to that weight. That's why it's so hard to lose. That's why you got to lose it, keep it off, lose some more, keep it off, lose some more and keep it off. But everybody trying to look good for the summer and forget the rest of their fucking life. <laughs> I'm in this for the the long haul because um, now I'm wearing some shirts, extra large. I've come out of the 2X underwear from double X to large. Um, just I feel better. I move better. So this is a lifestyle change that took a long time. And I'm telling you that if you want permanent and substantial change, it's going to take some time. I mean, for some of you, it's going to take a long time. For some of you, it's not going to take a long time. I don't know how long it's going to take you. But remember Sally Mae Jones? The lady made me cut that grass. She used to have the saying, if you live long enough, one day you're going to be old. This life, this clock of life is steadily ticking. So if you don't really dig in, and I've seen it in the comments, like, man, I wish I had listened to you two years ago. Man, I wish I listened to you three years ago. This, there's a reason this channel has been around eight years and we'll be going on this ninth year in August. Everybody that's not ready for the message, I'm, I'm cool with that. I cannot make you drink the water. I can just point to you like, there's water there and it's good and it's cool and it's refreshing. I could do that. Uh, let's see where we are. <laughs> the kids are in college whoa this was a very nasty contentious divorce she stuck him for his paper so that means the child support is going to end in a few years that's good Uh, Sister Rao, the way I see it, many laborers, professionals such as medical doctors and engineers are going the way of nurses and lawyers. A sure job for life is obsolete. I got a friend who's been a doctor 15 years and he complains about it. He loves being a doctor. He loves helping people. But he says he talks to old doctors and they say it ain't nothing like it used to be. You don't get the respect. You don't get the courtesy and you don't get the money. So, yeah, that's coming. The original lady pimp, this may be a dumb question, but can a divorce decree be contested? Uh, can he plead financial hardship? Well, based upon what Be Real said, he ain't poor in his tax records because they get your tax records. So he can't plead hard financial hardship, but he can contest an appeal. Each time you talk about divorce, I'm so grateful my divorce is uncontested. Milton Cox, yes, every course is 50% off, but you have to spend $750 to get the lifetime access to Disruptive Mail, or you can just go ahead and get Disruptive Mail direct. I tell you. Man, this is just like, I wonder why these people come in here just to waste their time, because the moderator too, y'all are like, Luke Skywalker with the lightsaber. 
Y'all cutting them off at the ankles. That was like, um, I think that was Obi-Wan Kenobi that cut off Anakin's arms and legs. Uh, Milton Cox, the code is, where do you get that? The code is, I am the boss. And let me just go in here. Yeah, that weekend hustle school, that was like a long time ago. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Let me get in here real quick. I know that, yeah, it's been, I am the boss. Actually, I need to add more numbers to this. Let's see. Let me go in here. Coupons. Just checking. Yep, the coupon is I am the boss. That weekend. Oh, okay. All right. I, I, you know, my bad. I see what you're saying. Uh, he's trying to appeal. He tried. Yeah, the weekend hustle school, I think I turned that off, so you can't buy that. Uh, B real. He's trying to appeal. He tried to hide a house down south in his father's name. She's about to get that too. Whew. Honey Bunny is zero to one million a course of series. It is a course. It's probably going to be when I'm done with it. It's probably going to be right at six hours, maybe seven hours. If it goes beyond that, I'll let you know. Yeah, that's a good question, uh, Ganji eighty eight. I want you to think of how can I say this? Because I didn't have time to do the bones. The bones will be up in there tonight, so you'll be able to see the bones. Um, and then I'm going to start dropping content in the morning. I want you to think of like a high school course where you go in and you have subject matter, you have to study, and you have to do stuff. It's going to be like that. This is a mindset course. There's going to be a lot of really interesting stuff in there. I'm going to put the diving board exercise back in there because a lot of people want that plus some more exercises. Oh, yeah. Let me write that down. Make sure I remember that because a lot of people don't know about that because that's a test of where your mindset is. So we're going to diving board. Exercise plus others. It's going to be wild. It's going to be very, very wild. So let's see, where are we with this? Because I am not going to be here too long. Any more questions? Because I'll drop a little bit more information about the course tomorrow after I create the first legs of content. Now, I got some help. So we're going to be doing this course. We're going to be doing Get a Big Dick. And we're going to be doing stuff in disruptive mail because one of the things I want to do is put together certain things versus going too far down the road. And y'all be like, I don't really like that. I have a general sense of what you want because, you know, as we go through, I'll be like, OK, is this cool? Is this not cool? So we're not just going to build something that people don't want. Honey, but I'm here for the mindset courses. It all starts in the mind. Yes, it does. Uh, this dude bakes. Um, this dude bakes. Uh, I don't know if you heard this, but what you have to do is go to disruptivemail.org. I had a problem with disruptivemailprep.com where I still can't get into the site. I hadn't had time to scream at them, but I have to create another course and another site on another platform. So I don't think you know that you have to go there, put in your name and email address, sign up for it. And then I will add you to the course. because I think that's where you are. Dang, D. Hectrix, the screwing you get for the screwing you got. <laughs> Any more questions <laughs> about zero to me? No. And the reason I named this course is that's my story. I was living in a boarding house. I didn't have no money. And it didn't really turn around until I developed a better mindset. I worked two jobs. I worked three jobs. And I was still poor. But because I sat down and thought, 
looked at the whole situation, made an analysis, came up with a plan and executed. I got a job at Renecrate. Still had that hustler, hustler mindset. Then I moved to Panel Systems Unlimited. Then I moved to business environments. Then I moved to my own company. And I haven't had a job since. Renecrate, Panel Systems, business environments. See, three jobs before I leapt off into my own thing. No, no, this dude bakes. You actually have to sign up. I, I haven't because there's just too many of y'all for me to be signing you up and adding you and then emailing you. That's just too much work. The original lady pip. Wasn't it Johnny Taylor that said it's cheaper to keep her? <laughs> I don't know about that because there's a mental cost of being with some people. Uh, I can honestly say that I probably would have went crazy if I stayed with my wife, even though she divorced me just the way that she is. Notice I said present tense is. Woo. And you know what's funny? I know she watches these videos. I got two of my exes watching these videos. And you know what I what I continue to do? I continue to rise and rise and rise and rise. And rise I go higher I get better and I hadn't seen pictures of either one of them but I got a feeling I look younger than they do because I don't have that stressful life that they do and you know what I really I feel sad for both of them I feel I pity them I really do because it didn't have to go down that way. But both of them tried to get me. One of them, well, yes, yeah, she did fuck me over. And she fucked me over royally for years. The other one, but see, the first one prepared me for the second one. Because I already knew, because all of the blinders were off, like this woman that you lay in bed with and have children with, this sweet little woman, she could turn into a viper on you just like that. So I already knew what could happen, and it did. And I was just like, Droom. with my lightsaber, parry, thrust, droom, 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 droom. and I didn't get stuck. I got all my body parts, all my digits and stuff. I didn't get stuck. But she got stuck, the second one. She's the one that has this very harsh life because, see, this is something else, and I know this from having kids. When their kids are like little babies, that baby stage, Every woman wants to sniff the baby, hold the baby, do all of this stuff. But when they get around two and a half, three, start asking questions, and start to get their that attitude, they ain't as fun as they used to be when they're a little baby and where you can just put them somewhere and they stay there until you come back. They ain't like that. Bigger, asking questions like, where's dad? Who's my daddy? And you got to lie or actually become a woman of character. <laughs> And tell her the truth. Madison, I didn't really want him to be your father because he didn't want me. So you got screwed out of a father because he didn't want me. Sorry. It's going to be a very interesting conversation in a few years. It really is. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, 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 yeah. I, sh yeah, he, um, she came out here with venom and fangs. Wow. Charlotte, that peace of mind is worth a lot. <laughs> it's not cheaper to keep her anymore. Pretty much, CC. <laughs> Real rest in peace to your friend. He has to hold that L. <laughs> wow. Uh, Mike Rowland, learning that now. No price on peace of mind. Good Lord.
It says it doesn't recognize the email. Well, that sounds like your email is already in the system. Well, what I'm going to do is pick a day this week. And I'm not giving out the email because I don't want to have people like, hey, did you look at my email? I'm probably going to do Friday. It's like a customer service day to handle these issues. So just wait for that. I'm not going to forget either because it's on the calendar. Good Lord, be real. He just silly. Uh, good question. I joined Hustle Kung Fu with my LinkedIn account. LinkedIn, but used the direct email because of the beach. <laughs> Joshua Hill, do you think it's easier to become a multimillionaire today versus back in the old days? Because I often read the stories of how certain families became wealthy on very little starting capital. I'm going to say with the advent of technology that is easier today to become a millionaire than ever before. You've got 18, 19, 20 year old kids who are multimillionaires. Now, what happened back in the day was these people had no competition. If people knew like Warren Buffett that, you know, when you're 13 years old, you can buy some stock. If people really knew that and understood there'd been more competition. Uh, GE, they didn't have any competition. Now they got competition. Look at their stock price. So I would say today is easier than ever. All right, but we'll work that out because Friday will be customer service day. I got to get content going. So let's go ahead, make sure that I, and I'll do it live. How's that? Customer service. And we'll fix all issues in real time and stuff like that. Stream. Yeah, I like that. So we'll do that. Ganja. Exactly. Information asymmetry caused some people to get rich back then. Where now, once again, there's more information. Everybody knows everything. Everybody can research everything. And you got to actually execute. Because the still thing is, let's say Hustler G over here knows what you know. But Hustler G is a little lazy. You know, he'll hustle for about 30 hours a week, and he'll, like, kick back. Then you got Hustler H over here, who is not as smart as Hustler G. But Hustler H put in 80 fucking hours a week. Guess who's going to win that race? <laughs> Good Lord, that's crazy. Yeah, we'll talk about all that dating and stuff at Disruptive Mail because uh, there's some serious topics coming that way this week. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to do it this morning because, like I said, I'm trying to find a happy balance between putting out content and creating training because it all comes from the same place. So I'm getting stronger because I actually did, like yesterday, was a monster day i did four streams and i did it before seven o'clock i don't know how i did it but i did it and i the thing is I, I came up with new concepts so the next stream will be tomorrow there will not i'm not going to be doing two streams uh sundays i'm probably going to do four streams because i feel that's a good way to start the week off because sunday's a work day do two streams in the morning do two in the evening and then i'm i don't know because i did a little test with friday and saturday uh, there still might be streams Friday and Saturday, but I'm not sure because I'm probably going to do it again this week just to make sure my testing is on point, and we'll see. All right, no more questions, and like I said, I'll be talking about this a little bit more. And also, as you can see, I'm like in front of you versus looking like this because I've been looking like this because the computer used to be here that I started to get like – a little strain on this trap right and i was like wait a minute so now i got the laptop where i can look straight ahead and i look down and this is much better okay sundays are great cool because yeah i like that flow of sundays because you know people sunday for most people is a work day they don't stay out too late they do their clothes they meal preps they they 
that's their day, right? And that's a good day to kick back. So Sundays will be like the power day to get the week started. And I'm probably going to do Friday and Saturday this week just to test, just to see where that puts me because we're going into the summer. And traditionally, views drop during the summer, but I'm going to try to do some hustler kung fu magic to see if I can actually grow my channel during the summer versus it going down. And what's interesting, you know, since y'all want to geek out with me, is this channel has grown this month and I've taken off the paid traffic. Because it's arcing up ever so slowly. So I'm doing some right. <laughs> the judge executed game flawlessly. Uh, Brandon, I don't know. It depends on you. Depends on who you are. Depends on your connects. All right, I'm about to go. Um, like I said, this is it for the day. There are no more streams today. But there will be. Yeah, there will be two tomorrow. Now, for those of you who are interested in zero to one million, how to go from nothing to getting rich. Oh, I need to explain that. I am rich, but I'm not wealthy. But this is the progression. You must go from whatever you're doing to getting rich. And rich gives you the ability to get wealthy because I don't have enough assets because, you know, I crunch the numbers. I could probably retire and get 75,000 a year, they ain't enough. They ain't enough at all. They, they ain't enough at all. That's not what, I'm like, no, 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 no. So I kind of said, you know what? Let's see, what if we go ahead, start a new company, grow it over time, let it go through its revisions, because you know, new companies, because you, you have a certain set of assumptions that you think are gonna happen, but real life has a way of going like, ha ha, that was very silly. And weather that for a few years, then create this company, get it up and running, about 15 years, then hand it over to my daughter, then collect checks. That That's kind of the plan. I don't know how it's going to work, but that's kind of the plan. Uh, the collaborations. That definitely, that gets new subscribers, but last time I happened, my views did not go up. But also, I've changed the content, if you notice. I've turned the ads off. I've changed the content because I'm doing what I really want to do because, uh, you know, YouTube was really, really interesting. Jimmy Choo, just stop. They'll never. Well, let me say, don't, don't ever say never. Don't never say never. That that's kind of crazy. That that's. Uh, whoo, that's very interesting. I shouldn't be surprised. I shouldn't be surprised. But anyway, in closing, if you want to be part of Zero to a Million, the mindset course is not a sales course. It's not a marketing course. It's a mindset course, and it's going to blow your mind with the stuff I'm going to put in there. Go below. You can use the coupon. It's 300 bucks. You can get it for 150 And seriously, it's going to blow your mind. You thought 20, 30 days to 2500 was good? This will be awesome. No, you got a little time. I'm going to probably be running this promo all week. You got a little time. Uh, Eric Wayne, YouTuber said he went to VidCom and his numbers went up like crazy. You think that's on purpose? Uh, I, no, I think he went to VidCon, met some people, got some collabs, and that's why his numbers went up. Worse, they say it's offensive to single moms and gays. What? That's crazy talk. Pretty much. Okay, so links below the video. You go there. There are no courses there. There's nothing there. But it gives you an explanation of what you're going to get. Plus, tomorrow, I'm going to put modules. Like, what's going to be in module A? What's going to be in module B? What's going to be in module C? Because one of the things is... Since I have uh, been working out, my energy level's gone really high and I've been very productive. Now I'm bringing back a lot of the old school methodologies that I used to do to stay consistent and to create this course. Coupon not working. Hold on. <laughs> what? Let's see. Let me get in here. 
Let me look. All right, let's just test this. And let's see. I am the boss. That should be the coupon. Josh Barr, could you bring back scripted days? Ha 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 ha. I am going to be part of this new course. It's going to be scripted days times 1,000. That's going to be in the new course. So I'm just letting you know. All right. So um, you know what? I'm going to let's see because I, I have a feeling I changed that. You know what I'm going to do? All right. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because if a lot of people are having a problem with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this coupon because it ain't working. Come on, coupon. Come on, come on, come on. So we're going to delete the coupon. There we go. So there's no coupon. And then we're going to go to the course. It should be up. Here we go. And we're going to change the price to 150. Still having the middleman. 150. There is no coupon now. So you should be able to go ahead and jump in and get this at 150. So I'm going to go ahead and make these changes down here. Come on, baby. So early bird special. Just get rid of that. $150. Buy now. And we're going to get rid of this coupon language. All right. So that should be effortlessly. And probably what I'll do Friday is some more live financial wizardry. Uh, Jesus three, be real. What Chris Rock said in his comedy show: Shaq is rich. The guy who signs his check is wealthy. Now Shaq's wealthy. I, I disagree with Chris. Disagree with a lot of stuff Chris says. Shaq is wealthy. All right, look, you know, before I go, let, let's let's just even let's talk about this. If you, because I don't have this, but if you can get ten million dollars, right? Ten million in cash, assets, whatever. Ten million, and pull off four to five percent of that year. Let's just say five percent. That's five hundred thousand dollars a year passive income with your ten million still intact. That, my friends, is wealthy. You got 10 million in assets that are caking you off 500K a year in passive income. I'm kind of like halfway there, but I'm not really there because it's the stuff I did. So I got to, no, I'm not even halfway there. I mean, best tops is probably 120, and that's pushing it. And everything's got to go right. And what do we know here at Hustlers Kung Fu? Everything ain't going to go right. So while I'm still relatively young in the tooth, I'm only 51. I can work another 15, 16 years. No problem. And that's what I plan on doing. Oh, and also, next month we're going to do another challenge. It's going to be very different. We're going to keep it at 10K, though, because I saw a lot of people struggle with that. A lot of people struggle. Like, they did the 2K challenge, knocked that out the ballpark, but a lot of people struggle with 10K. So we're going to talk about that. But that's that's awesome stadium because there are exactly six more days in the 10K challenge. Oh, Erica Williams. Shaq has a net worth of $400 million plus countless endorsements. He didn't even touch his. Yeah, Shaq is rich. Like I said, Chris Rock, uh, he got more things wrong than his marriage. 
Yeah, I'm not like a big fan of Chris Rock. So there you go. All right, so be back tomorrow, maybe in the morning. Once again, I'm going to work this out. But uh, zero to one million is going to have more content tomorrow, and it's going to have the modules and all those bones. So I got to go. I got to work on that. I got to write a piece tonight. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Go below. Get it. I changed it. So you don't have to use a coupon. You can just go ahead and buy straight. So with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and super chat that.